Hi guys! Welcome to our demo of digital journaling using the One Minute Pad 11 Paper Matte Edition. Today, I'll be showing you how easy and enjoyable using Huawei Mate Pad 11 Paper Matte Edition is, plus all its great features using Huawei Notes as a notebook or journal. So for those of you who are new to Huawei Notes, it's actually a professional note-taking app that's really good for students like me and for professionals. It works seamlessly with the Huawei M Pencil that gives users top-tier note-taking experience that highlights easy writing, management, and high security. And I'm so excited to show how it works to you guys. What's great about this tablet is that it is the first paper matte display technology in the industry. The screen diffuses light which makes it anti-glare, anti-reflection, and low fatigue. Legit, my eyes don't feel strained when I use this. And the way it provides a paper-like writing experience really sets it apart from other tablets. Actually, if you look at the images on screen, they look like something that you'd see on a paper or book talaga, thanks to the patented color mapping algorithm this tablet has. One of the best highlights of this tablet is its digital journaling app, Huawei Notes. It's been such a great help to me when it comes to my notes, but it also helps me practice my creativity. I've been using it for school and for journaling, and that is what we are going to use for today's video. Now let's create a new journal entry using the Huawei Notes. Open the app, tap on New Entry or Create Notebook, and give your journal entry a title. You can customize the cover and layout to suit your style. So there are options that you can choose from or you can also customize your own. I found this really cute picture and I use this one as my cover. You can also choose the layout you want and even the color if you want beige or black. For today, I'll be using white and blank. Now it's time to start journaling. Using the M pencil provided, you can write, draw, or sketch on the paper matte screen just like you would on paper. The M Pencil is highly responsive and offers various pen types and colors for creativity. So first off, like I've said, using this tablet truly feels like writing on paper. Using the M Pencil really highlights the tactile feel of the tablet, but that's just the start. If you touch the display, it really feels similar to paper, not like the usual tablets where you know now you're writing on glass. It really adds to the experience. So here are some of the features that you should try out with Huawei Notes. Writing is so easy and there's practically no delay when you use the M Pencil on this tablet. You can even change the opacity level, thickness, and color of the pen that you are using. So right now, I'm just putting here all of the dates. And 30. So here's our calendar. If you love adding markers to your digital journal, then this is a really nice addition to the app. As you can easily select a color using color capture feature, even across apps, and select that color. So here, I'm going to select a color. And I'll be using this to create our title. As you can see, the lines are so straight. And it really makes the words pop up. This is one of my favorite tools actually. Now I'm going to use a new color, this really light pink one. And I'm going to highlight the dates para lang my design just like this so i'll add another page for my monthly goals
Now I'm going to be adding another page for our task, habits, and mood tracker. Journals aren't complete without images and photos. I usually use the image panel here to look at pictures and add them as I like. I also decided to put a mood tracker because I think it's so cool to see what your mood is during the month. For example, I want to draw a heart. So your normal heart would look like this, but using draw and hold, I can make hearts that look perfect. So cute, right? So, maglalagay lang ako ng bullet points using heart. If I get it straight. Like that. That's so cute. Then, I'll also use highlighter for another, then I also use highlighter for another bullet points, this time circle lang. Like so. So, I just want to fill in this space by adding a coat. I'm gonna put here believe in yourself. This is to motivate myself that I can achieve my goals this month. And then I just go over it with a cursive writing. Like that. So now let's go back to our first page. I'm gonna add a few more details here. I think it needs a picture for your design. This really cute cat. So I want to be able to put here my to-do list quickly before I transfer them dito sa calendar. That's why I'm doing this section. Para lang mas maging organized siya. Like that. So here are the pages so far. You know what's missing? Of course, stickers. So let's add some. I'll be using custom crop again. And then just pick whichever sticker you like. You can see how stickers made everything look so much better. Now, let's add stickers then sa other pages. If you like putting in random codes or thoughts and different fonts, you can also use the text tool which is here. It can instantly make a journal entry look aesthetically pleasing. For example, I'm in a rush. So, I'll just quickly write here. So, let's say we have this quick notes. And if I want to organize it and I want it to be uniform, I can use this tool to reorganize quick scribbles like your to-do list, task, or works exams and put it on the page. For example, past project on November 7th. Let's add it here. And here, examine PCM on November 10th. So as you can see, it makes it look more organized and neat. I like this. So I like this feature a lot. When I really want to add small things or put in more thoughts, I can easily use the snippet and annotate tool like this. Then you can save it as image or PDF. Sometimes I annotate parts of the page with habits or thoughts and I can add in like a small note on the calendar if I hydrated today 
the die exercise, and other small yet fun stuff. And I, I can also take a snippet. For example, I want to take a snippet of our calendar, then save it. Now, if you look at the gallery, it is saved right here. Cool, right? So now we have a memo here. I just want to add a quote that will inspire me while I'm seeing my monthly goals right here. Here's the quote that inspired me. Today, just focus on being a little better than yesterday. It's such an inspiring and positive quote. In this upper part, I just want to put like a little note for myself. I wrote, Hello November, just few weeks left before December. Let's make the remaining days count for this year. So let's say that I'm done with these pages. What's next? Organization is key to effective journaling. With the Huawei MatePad 11 Paper Matte Edition, you can easily categorize your entries using tags, folders, or notebooks. This makes it simple to find specific entries later. Just look at these folders of my different notes from different months that I find interesting that I organize using the folders. I can even put other notes and lists that I made using the Huawei Notes app. For example, in my modules, you can see here my economics reviewer. As well as my DA reviewer. Here is my folder for my PDF files. And here is my folder for my journaling. So let's put our November spread in this folder. Just move it to our journaling. Journaling isn't just about text. It's about capturing memories. You can enhance your entries by attaching photos, videos, or voice recording. With the Super Device feature, it becomes easy to add images from my phone or laptop. I can use this to my journal entries to make it more personal. And like I said, the image feature makes it easier to. Journaling isn't just about text. It's about capturing memories. You can enhance your entries by attaching photos and more. But going back to the tablet's features, if you ever want to share your journal with others or print it out, exporting is simple. So here you can find Share, Export, and Print. Most journaling apps allow you to export entries as PDFs or share them via email or social media. For example, Export. You can, choose, you can choose whether you want to export it as image or PDF. You can also import notes and audio recordings to make it easier for you to journal and take notes. So right now, I'm exporting the file. And here is our file. Now you can share this with anyone. Share ko lang kanina ko pa to ginagamit and my eyes are still fine. Hindi talaga siya masakit sa mata. Also, don't forget to back up or save it sa Huawei Cloud for easy access. There's another feature too that makes using it so intuitive. For example, the recording feature helps when I want to just see how I did things. So here's the control panel. We have the screen recorder. So right now, I'm just recording my screen. 
This is how I do it, especially for the more complicated stuff when I journal. Now you can share it. And yeah, here is our video. I also love how this tablet is so professional sometimes, especially with the laser pointer and easy search feature. Last time I used this tablet when I presented in our differential equation reporting. So for example, right here, I can just use the laser pointer tool and then just point everything like this. It's so great. Plus the bookmarks, of course, I can say na I lost something because of it. For example, I want to put bookmark here. Then you can see it in the bookmark tool. Right here. The Huawei MatePad 11 Paper Mad Edition truly offers the best of both worlds, an exceptional digital journaling experience and the capability to enhance your productivity to PC level. Whether you're at work, school, or simply enjoying your creative pursuits, this device have you covered. So that's it for today and I hope you find creative ways to use your MatePad 11 Paper Mat Edition too. Thank you and enjoy! Bye guys!